59 Nelson that I'm going to show you. Here's the neighborhood. Uh, two, two blocks to Sycamore and three blocks to Kitty Charm School. And it's on a corner. That's a nice corner. All the houses are good. The neighbors seem good. Big street. Um, and this is the front. I'm going to just show you really quick. This is the driveway. They cut it off and put a lawn in and turned the garage into like a rec room. So, but there are two cars can fit here in this gravel driveway. Apparently the house was raised a few years ago, so I think it's in the flood zone, but I think it's a lot better off. You can see when you go in, but it's got some steps up. Great little gardens up front. Uh, very small though, I mean, it feels more like an apartment than a house for sure. It can be doubled in size, so it can have a second story, um, but this is the way it is now. So you walk in straight into a small living room and a nice open kitchen, but small, you know, feels more like an apartment for sure than a house. Here's the uh, kitchen, living room, front door, and it does have access to the outside from here. The laundry's right here in the kitchen, and then there's the garage that's been converted, and I'll take you through the rest of it, which is pretty easy and small. Um, ceilings aren't high or anything, but not terrible. And then when you walk in, there's a little room here. It has a small closet right there, and another one right here. So just a little spare room. Pardon me. <laughs> and then bathroom on the left, the only bathroom, just a one bathroom. So pretty small for cut out a lot of families, which is good <laughs> for me. Another small bedroom with a little closet. Well, pretty good sized closet. And the closets are well built in terms of like, you know, sections and stuff. And then the master, which is super small for a master, but certainly doable. It's right here. This bed is not quite a queen, I don't think. Maybe it's a queen. Double maybe. And the closet is not big for master, but not awful either. Again, kind of a two-sided, well-divided closet. And that's it. So it's pretty pretty little, but cute. And then the backyard is nice. This is kind of the selling point for me. So you can see the house is pretty high up, so three steps down, which is great in a flood zone. Has this little yard, this little sitting area. On the side is just kind of storage and stuff back here. And then actually behind the garage, there's a great little plot of land that's good for gardening. So it has this rounded deck. I guess they had a um, trampoline so they have this like area that doesn't have lawn on it but original driveway would have gone in here to the garage which they just use as a family room which I think is a great use of space actually um, and maybe could be turned into like a two-story guest house or a guest house of some sort since there's so much square footage available to build can add another thousand square feet to this house. Here's down the side. And then good place for gardening. It's very sunny back here. Hi. Hey. So there's just this little so that, yeah. plot, you know, 20 by 10 or whatever. All the backyards converge back here to, you know, so it's kind of quiet and nice. These people are, their place is kind of junky. But anyway, so this is behind the garage, but boy, is it hot right here. This is a great place for um, planting vegetables and fruits and stuff. It is crazy hot back here. Um, and then this little walkway, cute little garden, nice tree, big tree, and on back. Not terribly big back here, but nice. Um, and I'll show you inside the garage because it's actually, you could maybe turn it into part of the house or something. Maybe it could be a master with an entrance, but it's nice beam ceilings and stuff. So maybe there's something you could do to connect them over time. Um, I forget the lot size, like 5,800 or something like that. And that is the whole place.